It is the 22nd of April 2020. As always, it's a pleasure having you join us each and every Thursday from uh, 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. And I repeat of this particular show every Thursday at 10 p.m. This is a power talk a very good morning to you my name is ram aguko we are broadcasting live from the broadcasting house here in nairobi kenya a wonderful day it is to you know have you join us today this is y254 tv thank you very much for keeping it power talk today we have a lot in store for you in our conversation today we our focus shall be on depression in relationships and particularly how uh, depression has the ability you know to affect an individual and those around him. Well, today we share a story of Emma. Emma is uh, one person who went through a lot, in, particularly when it comes to depression in relationships. She will tell you her story. Can you imagine, you know, um, put, being in a position where you're dating somebody only to realize that they have gone with your best friend? Well, <sighs> Today is going to be a very, a very interesting day. This conversation that we shall have this particular morning, I am joined by none other than, than Emma. <coughs> no, sorry, Emma and Jerry. She is a media personality. Karibu sana, Emma. Thank you so much. I am also joined by Sami Wafula. He is a consultant, a pastor, and a relationship expert. Karibu sana, uh, Wafula. Asante, Ram. Uh, be you. part of this conversation, as always. We welcome your feedback. We appreciate your, con your, your comments in regards to this. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter, at Ram Aguko, at Y254 Channel. And on Facebook, we have posted a question there on our Facebook page, Y254. Drop your comments as we continue this conversation. We shall sample your feedback later on. Uh, we have also asked our viewers from wherever, from different parts of the country and beyond to send in their comments in regards to this depression in relationships. Um, how far do you think it can go? Have you experienced depression? Uh, we uh, told our viewers to you know, send in their thoughts in regards to this uh, through sending a one-minute clip of themselves. You know, just record yourself a one-minute thing and then you send it to us. We shall, uh, we shall share a few of them today. Leo. Tutakuweka hewani. All right. So thank you very much for keeping it power talk. Let's kick this. Uh, let's kick that. The, kick start this conversation. Emma, karibu sana. Wafula. Um, let me start with you, Emma. Uh, Uminembe kitu hapa before we went on air and <laughs> I, I kind of got, <laughs> got, uh, got interested in this con particular conversation. So tell us your story. How did, did it all start from the beginning um, of everything till you get to the point that you are in today? Thank you so much, Ram. Uh, my name is Emma, and thank you so much for having me here today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm so happy that I can be able to share my story while smiling. Because there is a time I could not talk about it, uh, because I was still in my uh, healing process. But I thank God that I am fully healed, and that's why I am here, to mm -hmm. share my past experiences. And also, for me, I call it a testimony. Oh. Yeah, because I believe that is a testimony that God gave me and a testimony through which uh, many people will also be healed. I do not uh, share this because uh, it was a something nice, but I share this because I know there's someone out there going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, my story began um, in 2016 where uh, just like a, a young and just like any other normal beautiful girl out there <laughs> you know there is that age we get to and you feel like now i'm a grown-up and now i need to have a boyfriend i need to start dating i need to start life yeah, just like a normal yeah, yeah. a normal human being many people don't yeah. want to go through that stage you know yeah yeah when i was high school up for some new primary <laughs> yeah, it depends on how you're brought up. Yeah. Two, yeah. Two, uh -huh. <laughs> sure, uh, but for me, uh, I think uh, part of my, my, when I was in school, mm. I did not like date. Any primary high primary school? Primary high school, I, I can't remember dating anyone. Maybe it was just that those jokes, jokes around. Mm. But now for this particular one in 2016, I felt like, uh, I was still young, but I felt like, oh, this is the right age to start dating and to start, you know, experiencing how it feels to be in love. You were in campus? W where yeah, were you? In yeah actually I was in college, yeah, okay. that time. Mm. So I met this guy, actually I met him through a cousin. 
Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm, I do acting also. So uh, I used to act with the cousin. Uh -huh. And so I met the guy through the cousin. It was like a um, hookup? No, it was not. Actually, it was not a hookup. Oh, like the cousin was my very close friend. Mm -hmm. We used to act together. Actually, we used like, to act together. So uh, most of the time we would hang out together. So this one time he comes, you know, with the cousin. Oh. And you know, just being a young girl, and he was like this. Yeah, you know this a dream man you have just seen, and you're like, oh, <laughs> this one is a really a dream man. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, that time I had cutting ka ka for for light skinned guys, cause. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 we are off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you know, so many people look for tall, dark, and handsome. Like me. Hey, for me, I was like, hey. <laughs> Uh, myself, yeah. I was like, hey, as long as you're light skin, uh -huh. yeah, that, that, that's my thing. Because oh. I had this dream of having some two cute babies, you know, you know those those uh. two babies in our heads. <laughs> yeah. So when I saw him, I was like, wow, this is a real deal. So we started knowing each other. We started talking. Only for me to realize that uh, he was just from a relationship mm -hmm. with a girl, a girl that I didn't know. So I was like, okay, are you ready to, to roll? He says, yeah, 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 I'm ready for this. And so that's where we started dating. Uh, that was the end of 2016 is when we started dating. So he was just from a relationship? Yeah. But I remember I asking him, are you ready to move on? Uh, how, how long was it uh, be, between the time that you started like dating a few and, months. and the, the, the time before? Uh, when it was they... like a few months. It was okay. a few months. And I remember asking him, are you ready to move on? And he said, yes, I am ready to move on. And so we said, okay, let's do this. And so we started very well. The first month, uh, the first like five months, it was okay. Now we are ready in 2017. So we were, we were doing well, actually, we, we now got him into our group of acting, started acting mm -hmm. with him. So we, we, also, we even actually did a movie together. And you know, it was so interesting. You feel like, hey, <laughs> isn't Kazi Lema movies a Hollywood where you hear people did a movie, I'm a soap operas, and now they are married in real life. So th there, was, there was a lot of fantasies in my head, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah so we continued. Uh, but uh, I think uh, like six months down the line, I started noticing a change of behavior. From him? Yeah, from him. Uh, what happened that time, I lost my phone my phone was stolen mm -hmm. so he had to okay he actually had an ipad and a phone so he gave me his phone so i i, I was not using his phone but i think he forgot to delete some messages so oh. somehow i saw some messages <laughs> and uh i can say i was stupid enough because i did not ask him simply because i never wanted to lose him yeah. you are you are too afraid to lose him yeah i was so scared of losing oh, him oh, what if, if I may ask, what kind of messages or what these that, you know, um, got to you? So the messages were, uh, like he was still talking to the ex. Oh, okay. The uh, ex factor. Yes. Ex -factor. To, to a place <laughs> where I, I even realized that they were doing the, the morning run together. Because they used to live in almost, like they were neighbors. So uh, I realized, Kumbe, they also do the, some running together in the morning. So I, I actually did not even ask him. Because I was having that fear of, of losing this guy. Uh, and, and, and my fear was coming from uh, my background, how I grew up. Because mm. the very first man in my life mm. failed me. I felt like the first man failed me. So when mm -hmm. it came to, to, to having a man, mm -hmm. and then again, I was so, so expectant of this man. In him, I was looking for a boyfriend. I was looking for a friend. I was looking for a father. Having grown up without a dad. Mm -hmm. So I had so many expectations of this guy. And, 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 and let me just cut it at, at that point and, and bring up, because that particular issue affects many. Yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. You're too afraid to lose him to mm -hmm. the point that anything he does, you yeah. just let it pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sh should that be the case? Or, or, or I, I think that is the most dangerous aspect, the most dangerous part of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Anytime you get into one and you're too afraid to lose him, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's dangerous because the day you lose him, you might even lose your mind. Mm -hmm. So once, when you want to get into a relationship, you should get into a relationship with the idea in mind mm. that uh, 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 anything can happen. I, I think we should give people room to make mistakes. Mm. And, and mm. even as you give people room to make mistakes, should you give yourself room to accept all the mistakes all the time? No. No, when it comes to cheating and when it comes to the X factor, mm. I, I think one thing I tell people is that uh, uh, once you break up with someone, 
the best thing to do is to avoid them, block them everywhere. Give yourself time to heal. Because mm -hmm. anytime you meet the ex, it is very possible that you will begin right from where you left. Sure. Uh, do you regret making that kind of a decision that you are too afraid of letting, uh, of approaching him or confronting him for um, the things that you saw? Sure, I do because if if I knew that time what was going to happen later, mm. I would have left him that moment. But for me, I, I I started insist like I didn't even want to talk about it with him, so I just kept cool. But already I had seen the first red flags, which I would have talked immediately. So I just kept quiet, and then uh, it continued, it continued. So to a point where mm. I know now this one might come out funny. Mm. This guy was not working; he was in campus. I was also in college. Oh, you're both in campus. Yeah. Uh, uh, but he, he afforded iPads and phones. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a life of, a, of campus students, you know that. <laughs> so he was not working. The mom was not. Or the, the mom also was not working. So uh -huh. I was the only one who was working. So I was the one taking the responsibility of the oh. of the whole family. The whole family, uh, like me, myself, him, and the, and the mom, because the, the dad mom. had also left them. So, so you guys, you became um, so close to the point that now you introduce each other yeah, to yeah, the family. Yeah, I was so close to not okay, not not from my family. Actually, my mom didn't even know I was dating. My mom, my mom knew I was dating now when I was in the hospital. That's when my mom knows, knew that I was dating. But way before, but his mom knew me. Because we, I used to go to their place. Because they, they, he had some young brothers and sisters, so I would go there, check up on them, mm -hmm. uh, buy some snacks for them. I used to do all these things. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I trusted this man to a point where I reached to a point. I even gave him my ATM card. So wherever I was, now the one who was asking for money. Hey, can you go <laughs> throw some money and send me? I need some so money for he this. Has and your this and this. Yeah, he has my everything. Imagine I was like I was. Uh, yeah. I, I had given him my all. That is love. <laughs> <laughs> this is love that ime 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 So I had given him my all. So uh, so I think now now uh, I started now seeing this some to sign. Sometimes uh, maybe someone will call him. He'll go outside. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he'll refuse to pick the calls when I'm there. He, he started just misbehaving. So one time I just decided to ask him. Why are you doing this? Why you, 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 is it that you got too tired of? Uh, yeah, I felt seeing. like uh, this guy is, is not even respecting me. And then, what is that secret that you are keeping that when someone calls you, you have to go outside, or rather, you ignore that call? So I asked him, "Do you want to tell me that whenever we, we like, whenever you leave, you don't call that person back?" So but, I, I started it, suspecting him. It used to bother you. Before, yeah. But you, you, you were quiet. But again, I had the fears of losing him. That, that, that was what was did, going did on. Did that also me. give you some, you know, um, unsettlement? You, were you able to even, even sleep at night? Were you able even to, you know, go through your day-to-day -day activities at peace, knowing all okay. that? Okay. My, my personally, I'm a very spiritual person. I am born again, and I believe. So I used to believe, like God, I'm going to fast and pray for this guy, and Amen. I'm going, he's going to change. <laughs> and actually, I, that, I'm telling you that's what I used to do. I, I can I can tell you the many times I used to take my Bible and I will recite scriptures, putting. I know you are a pastor, you understand. Mm -hmm. Where there is Israel, I would put his name. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know that you know those kind of prayers. Yes, you yes. know where there is mm -hmm. huge, oh Jerusalem, you put his name inside there. And, 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 and first, <laughs> if, if I'll come to you, that that particular issue, yes. especially for the born again people. Okay. You know there's a problem, yes. and you're too afraid of handling it, yes. and then you say, okay, let me just pray about it. Yes. You just pray about it, you're seeing the messages, you don't approach the guy, you're praying about it. Hmm. Is that the way to go? That is not the way to go. I think that is a sense of irresponsibility. There but is you're the, praying. There is the place of prayer, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and there is, you know, there is the logical part of it. If you are finding a messages in your boyfriend's, you're finding messages in your boyfriend's phone. Mm. What is the point of going to pray about it before confronting? What what, what are you going to pray? So Who are you going to pray? To? Break down every stronghold. So when you go there, <laughs> every principality, every principality is not by flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I it's think you should first uh, uh, handle it physically yeah. before you present it to God through prayer. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Do something first. Yeah, do something first. Go with a plan. Yes. And what would be your advice? Because you've been there before to that lady outside there who is too afraid to approach their issue, and then all that she is being advised by friends. You know, you go to friends and family; they tell you, pray about it. Yeah. What do you tell that lady who is going through that particular issue? They're too afraid of even approaching their man on that problem. 
Okay, I, I think right now I can say I'm more wiser. Mm -hmm. So I, I have learned to differentiate uh, spiritual things mm -hmm. and physical things, emotional things. Because not everything you can pray about, as he has said, there's some things, okay, we, we normally say that there are some demons that need a slap. You don't have to <laughs> pray about it. Is it not so? It's, it's Pastor, true. Do you confirm yeah, that? Not, okay, well, not every well, demon I, you have to I slap. I would say, I would uh, help her by saying, <laughs> God does not run relationships. Exactly. Uh, who, who, who does? <laughs> Individuals run <laughs> relationships, not God. Yeah. Not God. Not God. God does not run relationships. So this aspect of praying that God be at the center. <laughs> okay, you can pray for God to be at the center of yes. it. Uh. But okay, let me. Okay, I know this. Uh, this is not the, the direction, but I can say this. Hmm. Uh, it is no longer the work of God to give us men, wives, and husbands. Because mm -hmm. the last time he did that, someone blamed him. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have read the book of Genesis, you'll understand what I'm talking uh -huh. about. Uh -huh. The last Genesis time, yeah. Adam and Eve. Yeah, because when Adam messed up, when they messed up, when God came to him, he just said, no, it was not me. It is this woman that the you, woman gave, you me. gave me. That's why God has given us the power to love and to choose whoever and we want to, to love. That's mm -hmm. why, for example, today, I can just come and look at you and I'm say, hey, this guy, he looks like he can make a good husband. Mm -hmm. So the moment we are together, now, now that's now where God comes in and now blesses okay. the relationship. But it's not God who to help you to go and find someone. But he can help you to be able to, to know. He can give you that. There's something you call your conscious, like God can help you to de like to design, yeah. this is the right person for yes, me. Design. But he not come and tell you, this is the one. Mm. Discernment is the issue. Yeah, the discernment. God will lead you. God will direct you. But God will give you the. He has given us the power to of choose. choice. Yes, exactly. You understand? Mm -hmm. So God will lead you. God will help you. And God will give you discernment. So that when you meet someone, God will not tell you this is the one. It is through, you know, discernment that you get to know. And that is why, that is why you, you, you find that, you know, you, you might uh, meet a lady or a, a young man, then you, you like them. Then in the process of interaction, you get to know one another. You discover there are things about them you don't like. So God has given you the power to choose whether to continue with the relationship or to pray again and trust God for another man. People have said, God showed me you. I saw you in a dream. Mm -hmm. Let's get married. <laughs> it still works. It's okay, I think, uh -huh. okay, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe what I can say, so. when you put, okay, life, you have to balance things. Uh -huh. For example, God can tell you, can tell you to, my, okay, there is this question that maybe someone can ask. Uh, for example, maybe you are a pastor, you are married to someone, and then after some time you divorce. Does it mean that God was a liar? No, it doesn't okay. mean that God is a liar. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the same way, for example, okay, I don't want to go much into the Bible, yeah, yeah, but, but maybe, maybe, maybe I can post an example. Uh -huh. God told the Israelites, you are going to stay in Egypt for 400 years. But they stayed for 430 years. Mm -hmm. Does that make God a liar? No. It was, the it was their behavior. Yeah, actually mm -hmm. it was their choice. So God can speak to you and say, it, from today, Emma is your wife. When but your behavior matters a lot. For a man. Uh, and and some yes <laughs> men go through issues also yes yes you know this woman or this lady is doing something wrong but you're also afraid of approaching her because sometimes she makes noise uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, you know and, and 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 all you do is to just tell yourself i'll pray about it uh -huh. what should a man do when mm -hmm. he's in that particular issue you're not yet married okay remember, remember this conversation you're not yet married yes, yes. because for, for that case I'm your mm -hmm. what should a man do i think that is a dangerous path to tread on anytime you date a lady that is not teachable he, she can't be corrected. You can't teach her. You can't tell her anything. I think to, uh, to me, according to me as, you know, as Sam, mm. that is not a lady to end up with in marriage. Because as a man, you see, there is a part of a man called an ego. When you scratch that man, that, that part, you mess up the whole man. Mm. So when you, you know, when you mess up the position of a man in your life, mm -hmm. and when you mess up the position of a man, even in the marriage to come, that marriage is headed, you know, to hell. It, it can't just work. So I will advise that when you get a lady that is unteachable, can't be corrected, you can't tell her anything. What will be your role as a leader? You, a man is a leader. A man is, you know, the, the, the chief uh, role of a man in a relationship or in a marriage is a leader. When a lady can't listen to the leader, then nothing can help that lady. So I would advise that man to run for their life.
Yeah. As a man, you are the leader. You are the leader. Keep this conversation going on our Twitter <laughs> handle. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Facebook and on Twitter at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel. Tell us, what do you think? Are you afraid of approaching your spouse because you fear you might lose them? What should you do? What is the solution towards that? Mm -hmm. And do, are you aware that such things also lead to stress? Yes. Now, but I'm to, someone is just sad throughout the day. Mm -hmm. You ask her, what's wrong? My man or my woman. Yes. Well, have you talked to, to him? I'm, a, too, I'm too afraid of talking to him. Mm -hmm. But you gathered courage and you did. Yes. What happened on that day that you asked him? So, uh, so when I asked him, uh, he, uh, of, of course, as a man, mm. he tried to deny it and said, you know, she's just my friend. We just talk. <laughs> and I was like, okay, actually, I believed him. Imagine. <laughs> Jesus have mercy. I believed him and I said, it's okay, we can do this. So uh, around June, July now, July is now when things got worse. Another time he would ignore my calls mm. sometimes, like he would call me whenever he wants. Mm. Um, so one time uh, I'm with him and uh, the lady calls him. And when the lady called, when he received the call, I think it was just God. Akaguza the button near loudspeaker. Mm. So I heard the lady say, Hi, baby. <laughs> oh. God, yeah. I will So it was he a loudspeaker. Yeah, no, okay. He just picked the phone. I don't know what happened. How could you? How could you? So Akaguza the button near loudspeaker. So they just had, Hi, baby. So he looked at me. <laughs> like, 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 like he couldn't talk. I don't even talk. You talk to the baby. It's talk okay, to the talk, baby. Talk. You know, I was like, oh, talk to the baby. And mm -hmm. you know, for me, me, I love making jokes. So me, just, I just made it like a joke. Oh, talk to the baby. You know, and they talked, and of course, the conversation was very awkward and very weird. And uh, after that, I just said, you know what, this guy. Uh, he's coming too much. He's coming mm, too much. Mm. So I said, let me, yeah, 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 yeah. He's coming too <laughs> much. So I said, let me, let me just hold on. And then that time, uh, we were actually we had even opened an uh, um, a joint account. Mm. We were saving for our wedding. Oh my you God! You were really hey, started hey, making wedding started, plans. Yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> we had this dream. He, he's still receiving calls of hey baby, hey baby. Hey, baby. When I'm you ask him, you. he says that they are just friends. Yeah, they're just friends. So I said, it's okay. So I, so I remember, I will never uh, forget that day. It was the day of elections, 2017. Mm -hmm. It was, I think it was 9th August or 7th August, right about there. So um, that time now I was sent to, to Langata mm. that's because now of the, of, the, of the elections. So I was there. So what had happened now, like the previous day, because we were not sure of what was going to happen after the elections, mm -hmm. so I advised him, can you take your mom and your, and your siblings to Muranga? Uh, now to the social place so that they can go stay there before now when the elections are done now they can come back mm. so because that time we didn't have a car so i went ahead being the good woman i hired a car for him we filled the car hey. i told him you you can take the the kids home let me go to langata so when i was in langata i just uh, took my phone and I, I i was just checking on my facebook so i saw this lady she had just posted a picture on facebook of uh, her and the siblings now with the same car that we had hired in moranga it means they went together they went together Hey, apa sana damu ilipanda sasa. That's now I realized like man, come this 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 this, this guy is he, happening. He's playing you yeah. in front of your eyes but you can't see and it. And I was so and I was so blind. Mm -hmm. I think okay, I loved him too much. So I called him. So when I called him, he didn't speak. Immediately I saw a number calling me. So I'm like, okay, I know this person that is calling me because I have her number because she's a friend of mine that I know. Yes. So why are you posting pictures on Facebook with uh, my boyfriend's siblings? So I picked the call. She says, hi, Emma, this is Esther. I said, yes, I know it is you. I uh, just wanted to tell you that me and Josh, we are together. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, it was a dark day. So she told me, oh, remember even that certain day he asked you for this amount of money? I was the one who was in need of that money. You mm. remember that? And she started now taking me back. Mm -hmm. Remember that the certain day he called you, he told you this and this and this. I was the one who needed. And she told me things. So I just told her, it's okay. 
I'll talk to you to some other time. So I hung up. So I called the guy again. The guy was not speaking. So I called the mom. I asked the mom, eh, where, is, where is Josh? The mom said, oh, I don't know. I told the mom, I know he's there. Give him that phone. So he was given the phone. He started saying, oh, you know, I can explain. It's okay. You don't have to explain anything. Everything is, I can see everything and it's okay. So you knew about the relationship through the lady? Yes. Like what was going on. So you broke up? No, I, did, I just said it's okay and I hung up. Because now I knew I was going to, and I, was go, I, I knew I was going to be there for three That was on Monday. We were supposed to have the elections on Tuesday. And so I knew I was going to be in Langata for three days. And you know, during elections, it's a very tough time. Mm -hmm. Cause, so I was there for three days and I was really stressed. So I was working, but my head was like, and you if you keep if you come a flashback, you know, Giza. Behavior. So I'm working, so all of a sudden, na, na kitu. so it would like pass kama ni kipicha tu na sketu ni meshtuka. But anyway, nika, nika hold on to. So on Wednesday morning now, when I left Langata, I went home. I was really tired because I had not slept for three days. You have not showered for three days because you go to a field. So I went home, I was so tired. I went, took a shower and I went to bed. So I put my phone on silent. Na nika 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 so kwa mka, actually I'm around 5 June nikapata missed calls nyingi napata missed calls all day napata missed calls zake the, your boyfriend yeah another the... another lady i found their missed calls so i woke up by that time i was very calm funny enough i was not feeling any pain kwa roho i was not stressed i was any i was just normal but you guys so at that time you're still dating this guy yeah so okay but it's it's over we do nearly hang up to see him, not to like those okay. three days. So you got missed calls? Yeah, so me, I got uh -huh. missed calls. Yeah. So I took the phone and I called him. He didn't pick, I called the lady. Hey, hi, I just found your missed calls. How, how may I help you? Then she said, Okay, Emma, we don't need to talk. Can we meet tomorrow? Actually, she said, Can we meet now this evening? I said, No, uh, today I'm very tired. Can we meet tomorrow? Uh, she said, Okay. So the following day morning, she's actually the one who woke me up. Can we meet up? I said, Okay. So I told her, let's meet at around two. Mind you, that time, I was so calm. I was so okay. Like, nearly quite okay, 100%. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the afternoon, so I called her, can we meet here? So we met to some car restaurant. Did she tell you why she wanted you to meet? Actually, I was, she was telling me that she wants to explain things to me. I said, okay. Okay. So, kajito watu kwa nyumba, nikaoka tu vizuri, and we went to the place that we were supposed to meet. It's, it's in a car restaurant. So I went there. Of course, uh, because I don't drink, so I soda to your story. And so, <laughs> hey, this lady now started telling me things. Kumbe, from day one, like after, after, like after they, they broke up, like two months later, wakarudiana. So even when this guy is telling me that waliachana, washa rudiana. So this guy was dating you so and this her guy, at, the same, at the same time. I am working, the lady is working. So the guy is benefiting from both sides. Okay, wow. So he was like trying to balance us. Uku na uku. Hey, so the lady tells me things. The lady tells me things. She even tells me, you know what? I'm 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 even pregnant. Oh, ni 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 ni. Hey. Achi <laughs> She's pregnant. Yes. <laughs> I'll come to you after this break. Ah, okay. She's pregnant. Yes, lady. What do you do? Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where fire meets fire. <laughs> and the man is double dealing. Mm -hmm. Getting money from this particular woman yes. and the other particular woman and telling both. And what I wonder is, did the lady know that you two were dating even as she was dating that guy? You know, these are questions that we want to find out after this break. Let's take a short break and we'll be back. Remember to keep the conversation going. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ramaguko at Y254 Channel. This is Power Talk. It's all about understanding the spectrum called depression in relationships. Don't go too far. Y254. Imagine. This is Power Talk. Thank you very much for keeping it Y254. My name is Ram Maguko. If you're just joining us, you're just in time for the next part of this conversation today. It's all about understanding depression. The hashtag as always is the Power, is Power Talk show on Twitter at Ram Aguko and at Y254 channel. We asked our viewers to give us their thoughts in regards to this conversation and they did that, sending us a one minute clip of their thoughts. We shall also play those clips uh, during this second part of the conversation. But first of all, let's head over to Facebook and see wh where people are uh, watching us from, what people are saying. Mama Kenansi Anasema is watching. Thank you, thank you very much, Mama Kenansi. 
Zaniboy Nyakuna. Nona ametuma kitu ngini hapa hivi. I think I'm, 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 anasema ame tune in, ame keti chini. Nik, Nikolaus Sebastian anasema watching. So, thank you very much. Um, Nancy anasema thika we the watching and listening. Jenkins Mwangi wa kwa Ben anasema watching from kwa Ben Naivasha. All right, we have Kevin Wafula and Asema, I am a victim of that. We have so many victims. Are you a victim? Have you gone through all of this? And uh, Tunashino Pia, for men, what is it about, about you that you play two women at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I want us to, 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 to continue with this, with this conversation, but let me come to you, um, Sami. The aspect of a man getting two, let me call them incomes. <laughs> <laughs> because this, I don't know how to how always to call it. Uh -huh. huh? You get money from this woman, okay. you get money from that other woman, and you put them all together, yet you lie to both of them, uh, but you shall find out if the other one was lied to, that you are still friends. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with <laughs> is, is there a problem with the society? Is it about morals? So what could be the issue that men do such a thing? Let me say some men do such uh, a thing. Some men, not all men. Not all men. Some men. Yeah, yeah. I, I, am, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a character disorder. Uh, I believe, you know, God's intention for, you know, for marriage was one man, one woman. Mm. That is why he created Adam and Eve. So, but we have, uh, we have a disorder in our society today where people think power, men, men think power uh, is determined by the number of women you have in your life, mm -hmm. which is not the case. That's a very wrong thing. That's a you very know, wrong thing. They, they, they meet in their own boys club and say, Mimi nikona wangapi, wakona wangapi, wakona yes. wangapi to prove who is the alpha male. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like yesterday nilikuwa na huyu, leo nikuwa na huyu, kesho plan niko aje, and such like things. I think that is very wrong and uh, I want to talk to all men watching us online. Talk to them. That, uh, that this behavior must stop. I'm talking to every boy child out there. Uh, this behavior must stop. It is character <laughs> disorder. It is wrong for you to run two projects, have two women <laughs> at the same time. Now back to you, uh, Ram. <laughs> <laughs> because according to, to her story, that you know Did the you guy was. Call it a project. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, uh, a heart, the heart of a woman is not something to joke with. When women love, they love with all their emotions. It is dangerous to joke with the emotions of another human being. When a woman loves, she loves for real. Yes, she loves for real. She will love with her intestines, her backbone, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so it is dangerous to joke with the emotions of a woman. Because uh, uh, when you mess up a woman, I believe, I strongly, be, I strongly believe that women are the backbone of our society. Mm. And therefore, anyone that disrespects women, you know, should not have a place in our society. So I want to call men back to order. It is one woman, one man. <laughs> one woman, <laughs> one man. Yes. Well, um, some may disagree, especially the polygamous ones. But yes. uh, let's take a look at some of the views from our... Uh, fans, let me just say fans. Uh, what are my nini? Um, Timo, to go on up with you. Let's play one clip and then you come back. Me, yeah, I used to love someone. We grew up together and I like used to have feelings for him ever since we were young. So when you became teens, he, actually, he also had feelings for me. So when you I was really happy. And he got into a relationship with it for some time, for some months. And then, and then he just, just decided to leave. Like, he just said, he told me he doesn't need a girlfriend anymore. And that's how we left. Mpaka leo, bado nataka kujua tu, like, what did I do? Nilifaya nini? Now, I've been asking myself, like, what did I know? Hi, 
Hi, my name is Prudence and I'm not a relationship coach but everyone has had a heartbreak that changed them and I'm not an exception. What I did to get out of my heartbreak is uh, first of all I cried it all out, secondly I accepted. Healing is about acceptance and not forgetting. The third thing you have to do is love without expecting. The fourth thing you have to do is uh, go back to the market, single and we are ready to mingle. One thing else that you have to know is that God will never give someone else what belongs to you. So put that in mind and go back confidently and be strong. Get out of your of, of your state of depression. Do what you have to do because no one else will do it for you. Yeah. My name is Kevin. Uh, I'm not a relationship guru, but uh, I've been a relationship and I've seen friends in relationship, but when in a break, guys go into depression and uh, it end up to an end up on a, on a stress. My advice to you is this one. When you love someone, put it in your mind, put it in your heart, because a man changes his mind always. And if you are a man, in fact, what do you expect from a woman, the only creature who saw Satan and had a conversion one to one of one? So when you love her, when you love her, just put it in your mind because you always change your mind. And you always put in depression, but care about all, it will hurt you most. All right, those are a few um, comments from our viewers. Some are very touching. Some can make you cry, some can make you laugh. And you know, this, this, that's one thing about this show. You know, you cry and laugh at the same time. Um, let me give you a, a chance to comment on, 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 on those things that they have said. Um, in, in summary, uh, putting it all together, what our viewers have said. Uh, one was even wondering um, uh, about, you know, saying we should go back to the market. You know, Rudy, Jibambe, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts would be, uh, you know, from the clips you've just watched, we conclude that depression is real. Mm -hmm. It is something that is eating up so many young men and young women out here. Heartbreaks mm -hmm. are real. They happen. And uh, it is how you handle depression. It is how you handle that state, the, the, the post-relationship, you know, depression mm -hmm. that determines, you know, the next step of your life. I would uh, advise, you know, the lady that uh, said go back to the market. Number one thing, you should now first take time and heal. Take time and heal. Don't use another relationship to answer back your ex. I think that is the, the first mistake people make. Like they want to prove like, you know, they, they can never be desperate. They have, uh, they have people, you know, uh, uh, chasing on them every moment. And so w they think that they can be replaced very fast. Mm. So I would, uh, uh, I would advise them not to, you know, use another man to answer another man. Right. Yes. Don't use one relationship to uh, take care of another relationship. Yes. Wow. Mm. Uh, um, let me come to you. Um, so, to lift up earlier, now this woman tells you she's pregnant for your boyfriend. <laughs> what happened next after that? Uh, during during all that story, oh. when when she was giving me the story, somehow I was I was I was very calm. I think you, it, I can't. It, it, it did not shock you. Yeah, I can't. I, okay, I can't, I can't explain why I was calm, but yet I was supposed to be maybe very angry. So she 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 was just talking. She was just, any you gonna kaka any movie. So she talked. She talked. She talked. I remember. There's at some point I now felt that anger, mm. and I was but niko na kunya soda so I was niko na leo chupa na na mwanga leo even na eh umstana like kuliko na yokuwe it was just coming and then it would go things 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 yeah. are going to fly on this table it would come and then it would go then but I was so calm so when I was there I, I think that was the very moment that God really helped me because mm. remember when she was just talking, I just asked God now God what do I do. And I just felt inside of me like do the right thing. I didn't know I didn't know what the right thing was. Yeah. But I just told this lady, um, it's okay, I have heard what you have to say. And then I told this lady, Can we go to your house? Then she was like, Why? I said, Can we just go to your to your house? She, she said, Okay, let's go to my house. So we let, went to her house. Let me get it straight. 
Were you friends with this lady? But we were not that close. But, but, you, but you, we knew, you, you each, knew other. each other. Yes. Okay. For a very long time. Not such a long time, but we knew each other. But we were not that close. Okay. So uh, we went to her house. Then I told her, eh, can you call him? Tell him to come. So she was a bit shocked, like, why is she doing this? So I told her, call him, let him come. So she called the guy, and the guy came. And because this lady used to live in a, in a single-roomed house, but it had like a car extension car door. It's not really a bed sitter, but it had a, a car extension. So when you come through the door, you don't see the inside direct. You have to come through, through this small door, then come inside. So when the guy came, when he opened the door, so I could just ask when he saw me, I would breathe. <laughs> like, like like I am done. Like I breathe. It was very heavy. So he just Maybe looked movie. at me, and then and then by the way, he used to be uh, a very emotional guy. Oh. Uh, like kama kosa kadogo, he would cry. No, just a simple day because I got to tell him a little too juiaco. I got to come feeling like oh, this guy uh, really loves me. You know, she, she would shed tears. Yeah, the guy used to cry by there a lot. Much, 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 much cozy. Come say na troka afa na kwamba. <laughs> I'm not just a big light skin, so I'll go and lay back and I'm red. So when he came, when Okasa ni niona alishtuka, so akanza kulia. At like at come back now, you don't have to explain anything. I already know the whole of the story, and I know everything. So I told him come in. He came and sat. I told him now. Uh, I told them you guys, I just want to do the right thing. I'm not here to fight anyone. I want to leave you people in peace. And that's what you did. The two of you. But I gave them a condition. Mm -hmm. I will walk away and I will go and I will not disturb you. Lakini musiwai achana. I remember I told them, I will kill the both of you and I will turn myself in. I told what? him, it is mzuri, it is well and good, but stay with her forever. I don't want to hear that meachana. Because if she's better than me, then you should stay with her. You have no reason to leave her. And you would have done that. So they looked at me. Yeah, by the way, I was, by the, I was very <laughs> serious. Very serious, I'm telling you. And I told them, you know what, now, me, I'm gone. So Nikas Mama. So now when I stood, I felt like something had hit me here. And all of a sudden, Nikaza kuskia, Nikaza ku feel headache. Nikaza ku feel like I was going to fall. So Nikaka chini. So they asked me, are you OK? I just told them, no, I'm just feeling like Nikona ka headache. Uh, so I told this lady, can you go and get me maybe some painkillers? So she went downstairs, I and when she that flow. So she went downstairs and came back with some maramoja. I took the maramoja and I told the mimi ni metoka kwenda. So when I was going down, I was really struggling to go down the stairs. So the guy said, okay, let me help you. He still pretended to be a gentleman. So I can say, yeah, we went to downstairs. So I told them, let me go take a mat, I go home. They said, no, 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 you cannot make it to the stage. So do this, let, let, take a motorbike home. I said, fine, it's okay. So they call a motorbike guy. So that time now, nikona na sasa nikona na duni na zungu kaivi, your time. So I told, uh, so the guy said, no, 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 you know, I can't let you go home like this. So let me go with you. So So we went together. So he took me in the house. So when I got in the house now, I was like, you serious. I was like, you know, I may even be serious. So he started saying, you know, I can't leave you like this. I told him, you know what? If you love your life. He's, he, he came back and told you that he can't leave you. No, no, because he was, now he thought I was, uh, now I'm sick. So he's like, I cannot leave you in this state. So or I told him. To leave you yeah, in the house. You know, in the house. Okay. I told him, if you love your life, just leave me alone. Because that time I was, I was, and I was so angry. I was like, I can't do anything to this guy. I was so angry. So I told him, just leave me alone. Could, could this be some of the reasons that lead to the current state that we see men and women killing each other? Yes, yes. yes. That's true. Uh -huh. Because I really told him, by the go. He was insisting, no, no, no. I told him, no, go. Leave me alone. Because I was so sure if he stayed there another minute, I would have done something that I would have regretted. Right. Let, let's fast forward. What happened? after all of this so after all that uh, so that so i started getting sick 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 and, and then i ring i remember at around 8 p.m now things got worse i could not stand i was sweating because i was wearing a t-shirt it was all wet i was sweating and then i was even was bleeding so i didn't know what was really going on with me so i i started looking for my phone i reached my phone and i called a friend i told her she's called maggie i told her maggie i'm in the house and i am not okay 
So immediately they came. So by the time they were coming in my house, I was a mess. So they didn't know what was going on. So because what, I was I was I was not bleeding, I was all sweaty, so they could not tell what has happened. So they just took me and they were taking me to the hospital. There's a, a nearby hospital. And the last thing I remember, it was just alighting from the car. They took you to hospital? They took me to the first hospital. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I only remember alighting from the car and I fell there. So the next time I was realizing myself, mm -hmm. it was like after two weeks later, and by the time I, my, like my, my mind came back, I was in Akuru. You were unconscious for two weeks? No, I was conscious, but I did not know anything. You never knew where you were. I did not, I did not lo know where I was. She lost memory. I did she, not know even my mom. Because through that, all the, that time, in that span of two weeks, I was taken to one hospital. They gave me first aid. We went, now, now we went to this lady's house. The following day, they, now, now they were now giving the story. It, the story became worse. I was taken to another hospital. When we got there, they said, now this is a, a bad case. We cannot handle it. So take her to Madari Hospital. So Madari, which is now well known. <laughs> Now you were taken to Madari. So I was taken out to Madari Hospital. Because now it was a mental issue. Yes. Uh -huh. So I, st I was in Madari. So they were treating me. And then now after that, my mom was called. She came and now took me back home. So now when I'm coming back to my senses, I'm not in Nairobi. I'm not in my house. I'm not in the hospital. I'm in Akuru. I'm in my mom's home. So I'm oh. looking at my mom. Who are you guys? Pastor, <laughs> this, when you hear this story, you know, mm -hmm. what comes through your mind? You know, how... How do you perceive this? This was a serious uh, uh, case of depression. You see, for her, uh, it's like, uh, just as she said, she had, you know, loved this lady, this, this man with everything. She had, yeah. uh, she had given her all in the relationship. And so when such happens, to her, it's like, you know, the, her world had broken down. Her world had been crippled. Nothing was, you know, she looked at herself and, and she thought nothing would ever work for her again. Mm. And I believe that is, a, that is a, a what could be happening to most ladies out here. Mm -hmm. You see, when they go through a heartbreak and they can't contain it, you know, uh, they, they were, are likely to find themselves in a state like this one, a mental, you know, a mental problem. So... Uh, Maybe we can, uh, there are a few lessons we can learn from her story that might help someone out there. Number one is that, uh, uh, you know, when you love, when you get into a relationship, number one, you, anytime you see a red flag, you don't ignore. Sure. You don't ignore. Like for her, her red flag was, you know, she found the messages. But in the she phone, ignored. But she ignored. What she was doing, she was just postponing the pain. And could it be that that postponing of, of, of that pain is not um, made her even when she received information that that lady was pregnant it was not a shock because deep down yes. she felt like that was a possibility that was a possibility could that be the case that could be the case and so when she leaves them and goes back to her house now the reality hits her she mm -hmm. she, she she now you know she now comes to herself and she knows now this is he is gone well, and this is the case Let's, let's, let, let's uh, read a few uh, comments from uh, people to Kuja Nairani Kwanza. This is uh, Isaac Nalianya. All right. I think after a breakup, one should stay committed to the real reasons the relationship ended. Example, even former smoker miss having uh, a cigarette every once in a while, but it doesn't mean they should start smoking again. Also, after a breakup, uh, sh you should take on a new hobby. Uh -huh. By the way, could that be also a reason? Uh, yes, yes. Take on a new hobby. Sure. Did you start doing new things after that? Yeah, 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 definitely. All right. Let's head over to Alice Abia Nyongwa Nasema Rada. 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 Uh, Winston yeah. Obara and some are watching from LD going through such a easy. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Kupenda Mtu Sana ni dangerous. Winston is going through this also. Is it, uh, and the question is, is it, is it dangerous to love someone? What would be your comment to, to, you know, Winston? It's not dangerous to love someone, but I believe you can love with reservations. And doesn't that mean that you're not giving you 100% to this person? It, wh wh where do you draw the line? 
how can you love with reservations <laughs> and at the same time give your all to this person okay for me mm -hmm. i think i don't i no longer put reservations okay because i believe uh, uh for me i take i did not go through that so that i can be broken it was mm -hmm. to to build me up because after that after that 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 that, uh, that, that season mm. Honestly speaking, people who knew me before, right now they know a totally different person. Because I came to learn more about life. I came to learn more about loving me first. Mm -hmm. Because there is no way I can love you if I don't love myself. Even the Bible says clearly, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So I have to love me so that I can be able to love the other person. Mm -hmm. And again, I would say this, uh, being heartbroken by one man, doesn't mean that every other man will have to break you. There, All men are dogs there, also. Yeah, actually, I was watching one of your shows and you, you, you quoted that. Mm -hmm. I think that that is a very, uh, I can call it a stupid myth. Mm -hmm. People are not the same. Mm. People are not the same. And men are not the same. It depends on how the man is brought up. It depends with, I think many men, uh, their behavior, it is triggered by something. There are people who are bitter from mm -hmm. day one like there is a video i was watching i think yesterday i maybe it has been going viral of mm -hmm. this woman who was she just caught the husband cheating and they were abusing each other in front of the kids mm -hmm. and you know what I, I asked myself will these kids ever respect a man or will that the daughter ever respect a, a man or the son respect a woman i think the way we are we are, we are brought up matters a lot because mm -hmm. right now i'm in love with someone and i love him and I now, never preserve anything. I give him my all. So you managed to get into another relationship? Yeah, but it was after I healed. I took uh, two years, mm -hmm. two years and some months, because I wanted to be sure that I was okay. I, so you're in a relationship, relationship uh, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very good one. A good one. <laughs> a very good one. You're looking forward to marriage wedding? Oh my God, I can't wait. <laughs> this is just that man of my dream. Uh -huh. yeah. Is it good that <laughs> no, no, Okay, to, to be honest, uh, this mm -hmm. is what I normally say. I remember there was a time I was also cooking my muiko <laughs> 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 Yeah, you it, it was very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but, so, uh, uh, Pastor, yes. uh, let me come to you. The, this perception yes. that you're in a relationship with somebody, mm -hmm. you get into an argument, and then after that fight, that depression kicks in, and there is this one question that many people normally ask themselves, could I be the problem? Am I the problem? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. You know, what would be your take on in, in regards to that? My take would be, you know, uh, that's a good question. Uh, it is not, you know, a, a guarantee that uh, any time you disagree with someone, mm. that person should be the one having the problem. At times, it is us that have a problem. And until we address us, we cannot, we cannot address that other person. So I think when you get into an argument and mm. things don't really work, it is time for you know self-reflection but this you, 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 we had one viewer mm -hmm. uh from one video the okay. first lady alisama she got into a relationship they ended up having a fight they broke up but till today she's asking herself she died she has never found a, an answer to that okay so that one has not healed yet that one has not healed yet i, I would advise her to first heal take time you know take time with self heal uh, develop stamina mm. develop character uh, hobbies yes get hobbies keep yourself busy heal take time and heal because when you heal you will not ask if because if you ask yourself if you are the problem it will become so hard for you to get into another relationship because you will have the fears you know of, of uh, hurting the other person the personal insecurities yes yeah. yes but also think uh, she could uh, she should not like kill herself by asking herself what she did wrong yes maybe the guy was the one who had a problem mm -hmm. because i believe in a relationship if 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 i have done something and you feel like you cannot take it anymore uh -huh. it is it is respectful to come and tell me you've done this and this and i feel like i cannot take this anymore mm -hmm. so by the time you are walking i already know why you walked out so mm -hmm. for this case i think that the guy maybe is the one who had a problem because mm -hmm. if he was genuine would have told this lady mm. you know what this is what happened and i can't do it uh, anymore also there's a lady who said that, that you, should, you can just go back to the market uh, don't just jump <laughs> to the market <laughs> to Leah Kwanza. Do this. okay my personally what <coughs> really helped me is after that season now after i came back to nairobi i started zero from zero 
because now when, when when now I went back home, they had even moved my things. So when I came back, I just came back with, back with my clothes. Mm. So I started afresh. So when you're starting afresh, just be focused. Let go. Move on. Yes. Focus on you. So one thing that I did was working on myself and branding myself now afresh. Like Emma, it happened. You have to accept he's mm -hmm. gone. He's not the only man. We have billions and billions of men in this world. So move on. And look at you now. Just you're go. in another relationship. Actually, I've even added weight. <laughs> and I'm very happy. You know, you just, you just have to move on. And again, the most important thing, give yourself time to heal. Yes. Because when you, when you go to another relationship without healing, you're going to hurt the other person. Yes. Right. And right. you will hurt them badly. And this yeah. is the question here. Getting into another relationship with the pain of, of the, the previous, previous relationship. relationship. Uh -huh, yeah. Thereby... Kama kuna shida, you always choose that guy or yes. that lady. Yes. You know, I know you do this because a guy cheated on you. Yes, yes. You believe all men will cheat. Yes. No, so no. you're in another relationship be believing you that this man... You're, you're bleeding on someone that didn't hurt you. You're bleeding on someone that didn't hurt what you. What should you do? You, 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 you take time and heal. When you heal, mm. I think the, the, the main issue here is take time and heal before you get into another yeah, relationship. Complete. Because right. mm. you, will, you, will, uh, you will be very defensive. Because trust is broken. Because trust is broken. You believe all men are the same. So you will be very defensive. When you see a, a certain character, you, you will fight for no reason. You want to protect your space. You are protecting yourself, mm. thinking this person will, will hurt you exactly the same way the other person, you know, hurt you. So you will, you will always be on the wall. Mm. What about this aspect of, you know, f friends? Um, so that you don't end up with... Like that lady, mm. you knew that lady, mm -hmm. you know, although you are not that close, but you knew that lady. Mm -hmm. How should you relate with friends in a way that you maintain the boundaries of your relationship mm -hmm. together with the boundaries of your friends mm -hmm. with the opposite sex? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think personally uh, how I, I, I am right now, it's okay I have my friends, but I have made them uh, learn to respect my relationship and to okay. respect my guy. I, I know you are my friend, mm -hmm. but there, there are opinions I cannot let you tell me about my guy. Because, first of all, he is mine. I knew him first. I'm the one actually who introduced you, <laughs> you to him. So, don't come telling me, like, your guy is this and this and this. I, I want us to, to wrap this conversation up. Time, <laughs> Asia. I want to give you time. Yes. Speak, have a final word to Kenyans, okay. to everyone watching, about this issue of depression, mm -hmm. especially after the relationship. Mm -hmm. That is what comes there. I want to speak to every Kenyan listening to me right now and uh, I want to tell you that it is possible you can walk out of depression. The number one thing is you must, you know, you must find someone that will help you walk out of depression. You can never walk out of depression alone. You must find someone, maybe a, a confident you can talk to, you can pour your heart to, you can, you know, a mentor that will help you uh, walk out of your problem. Number two, avoid stalking your ex. When he's gone, <laughs> avoid stalking them. You want to know uh, 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 what is happening in their life. Stop following them. Yeah, stop following them. Stop, you know, stop following them on Facebook. You are stalking them to see who they were with, you know, who they are currently dating. Block them. Block them and find time for yourself to heal. That will help you, you know, heal. Number three, don't waste your pain. Don't let any pain of your life go to waste. You can use your pain, you know, pick lessons from the, from the pain and you can turn your pain into your a book or do something with your pain. Pick lessons and let every Kenyan learn from your story. Otherwise, God bless you so much. It is well. Wow. We, we, we need a men's we are women's conference. <laughs> we need a conference organized by part of <laughs> Emma, your final word to those who are watching watching you today. Okay, what I can say is that uh, the first process of or the first healing process it is accepting. Mm -hmm. Just accept it has happened, accept they are gone and just move on. Because it's so sad to see the cases we are seeing every day of people killing people. You do not deserve to die because of someone or to die because of love. There are so many. So if one drops you, just take your time, as, uh, as some has said, heal, accept yourself, accept it is done, and just move on. And above all, love yourself. Just go brand yourself afresh. Start learning how to draw them well. And just go out there and just do what you love doing. And that man will find you as you continue doing what you are doing. Right. You do not have to go and look for him. Just find you. Thank Mine you. found me. Yeah. You yeah. found you. When I was busy doing my own things. What is his name? <laughs> <laughs>
called Joshua, and I love him. Do you call, uh? Yes, Joshua, I love you so much, baby. Wow. Joshua, <laughs> is, 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 is he in the studio? He's backstage. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to the end of this conversation. Um, Emma, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Sammy, thank you. thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank it has been a pleasure. Thank I repeat, all this show comes to tonight at 10 p.m. Now, let me read a quote, as always, by Walter Anderson. And he says this, and I quote, Bad things do happen. How I respond to them defines my character and the quality of my life. I can choose to sit in perpetual sadness, immobilized by the gravity of my loss, or I can choose to rise from the pain and treasure the most precious gift I have, life itself. End of quote. Wow. God bless you. God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Maguko. This is Power Talk. Wow. Thank you. Hi, that was good.